This is your resource resourcefulness. You are powerful. This is you understanding with the new perspective that you've gained from the lessons that you've learned. You are manifesting. You are a powerful manifester. Beloved humans, welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. I'm an intellectual, empathic, intuitive tarot reader. So this will not resonate with everyone and that's okay. It's more than okay. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. This is a general collective reading. So there may be some zodiacs that are present in the reading with the tarot. I will highlight them, but this is not for any specific zodiac. It is for the collective. I've uh, blessed my cards pre-shuffled. We're going to use Oracle today and then get some clarification with tarot. And so let's see what comes out for the collective from the Spirit Animal Oracle. We have Flamingo Spirit, Embrace the In-Between. Then the Healing Waters Oracle offers us Mother of the Salt Waters, Passion, Wild Love, Open Your Heart, Let Love In. And finally, from Priestess of the Light Oracle, we're given Divine Feminine, Magnetic Receptive Power. This is beautiful. This is for the collective. What I'm definitely feeling with these oracle that have come to us so far. The flamingo spirit embrace the in-between. There are times when we just have to stand still. There's nothing to do but rest, listen, watch, and wait. So that's that in-between spirit where we're, we've just finished with one thing and we're waiting to move on to the next thing. And sometimes with that in-between spirit, um, that in-between feeling and energy, we can get a little antsy. But Divine Spirit is asking you to embrace the in-between. Allow the time of nothingness to infiltrate your spirit to be okay with that to be more than okay with our society we go 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 we rush 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 it's like we always have to have something to do and for someone out there this is your confirmation it's okay to be still it's okay to be doing nothing it's okay to just be and embrace the in between embrace the quiet embrace the calm and just stand in the stillness, you know, flamingos, they are known for their beautiful color, number one, but they're also known for standing on one leg for long periods of time, just doing nothing, just being the flamingo. And spirit is asking you to just be, stand still, right? And then mother of the salt waters, passion, wild love, open your heart, let love in. Indeed. So with this card, what I'm feeling is for someone, you've been closed off for quite some time. You've had a wall of protection around you, around your heart for quite some time. And Divine Spirit is letting you know, open yourself up, give yourself a chance to become passionate, to have wild love. And this isn't just romantic love that I'm feeling. We can get more confirmation with the tarot, but let love in. Maybe it's pointing for some of you. It's for love for self, wild love for self, passionate love for yourself, passionate about improving yourself on a day-to-day -day basis to become better than who you were the previous day, right? So I feel like that's for someone. And then we have divine feminine, magnetic receptive power, right? Magnetic receptive power. And with this card, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that this is your inner wisdom speaking to you. For someone out there, this is, spirituality coming to the surface. This is your spirituality 
uh, letting you know your abilities, your capabilities, the wonder of who you are with your divine feminine. Now, this is not uh, male or female energy. Divine feminine, we all have it. We all have divine feminine. We all have divine masculine. It's stronger in some for others. But there is a call. What I'm feeling is to embrace your divine feminine for sure. Uh, embrace spirituality. Embrace your intuition. Male or female does not matter. Because with that divine feminine, when you embrace it and work with your divine feminine energy, you become magnetic and you draw things. You attract things and people and successes to your life. There is a receptive power, the define. I don't know if you realize, but at the beginning of this reading, I'm holding, I was holding a crystal in my left hand because that is the divine feminine is left. Divine masculine is right. So the, the left is the receiving. So I wanted to receive clarification and clarity as I do the reading for the collective today. And so... That is me opening up to be receptive to the messages from spirit to share with the collective today. So let's get some information and understanding with the tarot for these messages from spirit. All right, let's see what we have. And then we'll also get some clarification with another tarot deck. All right, let's find out what more spirit needs the collective to know. Six of Wands, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Swords, Page of Swords. And five of pentacles. Okay. With the magician on the bottom. I am going to take that. I saw it. I'm taking it. All right. So embracing the in-between. And here we have the six of wands and the three of cups. What I'm feeling embracing the in-between. The six of wands and three of cups shows up under that. So with this, I feel like while you stand still, while you're in the quiet place, if you will, beloved humans, there will be recognition and celebration of you for who, who you truly are as you sit quiet and let things continue to move frantically about you. You are embracing the in-between. You've completed previous goals. You're not working on anything new. You're just basking in the calm, right? You're, and it's okay. It doesn't make you nervous to stand still because when you do that, there is a celebration of you. You are recognized. You are seen for your achievements and your accolades. Folks uh, award you for your successes. And then with this Three of Cups, it's just showing you are being celebrated as you sit still. As you do much of nothing except be, just be, right? You're not becoming, you're not who you were yesterday, just be. Stand still and let the praise and celebration of you happen all around you. And just bask in that, embrace that, accept that you are being celebrated except that you are being recognized and rewarded for what you've already done and who you already are is what I'm feeling for someone out there um also with this six of wands it could be celebrating what you've done for the community I feel like for someone out there you have been a true hero a true leader uh, in your community, and they're celebrating you for that. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. Okay. And with the mother of the salt waters, passion, wild love, open your heart, let love in. You have 10 of cups 
and the king of swords letting love in opening your heart so with this ten of cups energy there is the joy that is you letting love in and becoming emotionally fulfilled right the wild passion okay and then because you truly, with the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups, you truly understand who you are. You truly understand you are worthy of love and joy and passion and fulfillment with this Ten of Cups. Your heart is, when you open your heart, the truth, the truth of what you deserve is made readily available to you. And it allows you to come into this fulfilling time of your life letting love in the love of life itself the love of self the love of what it is you offer to the world right that's what i'm feeling with that and then with the divine feminine magnetic receptive power we have page of swords and the five of pentacles with this five of pentacles uh i feel like when you step into your divine feminine and you allow that divine feminine energy to work through you you no longer feel lost you no longer feel worried you you understand that everything that has happened for you up until this point has all been for your good because the page of swords here is showing you that there are new perspectives in how you see the experiences you have had in your life, right? How you see those experiences as lessons to help you level up. So your perspective about what has happened for you, not to you, your perspective has shifted so that now you understand this helps me to tap into the divine feminine that is readily available to me. The Page of Swords gets you to an understanding to allow the Divine Feminine to activate within you and work through you in order to level up and understand the lessons of life that came along with this um, Five of Pentacles. And then this Magician here, I, I saw it, I needed to have it for you, beloved humans. This is your resource, resourcefulness. You are powerful. This is you understanding with the new perspective that you've gained from the lessons that you've learned. You are manifesting. You are a powerful manifester, right? You are a powerful manifester with this magician because now you are attracting things to you. That magnetic receptive power. You are attracting the desires of your heart. Let's get some clarifiers out here. Divine Spirit, what else does the collective need to know? Again, take what resonates with you. Not everything will. And that's okay. Ten of Swords and Nine of Pentacles had to come out. Okay. And we have the devil. We have Capricorn showing up. So this could resonate deeply with a Capricorn is what I'm feeling. Okay. Hmm. Yes. What else, Spirit? Okay. Knight of Wands. Mm-hmm. Nine of Swords. We're dropping the worry. Your Page of Swords is giving you clarity and new perspectives to drop that worry with that Nine of Swords and that Five of Pentacles. One more Divine Spirit. One more, please. For the beautiful collective. Thank you. And the high priestess shows up. Okay. Ace of Pentacles is clarifying the magician. All right. So here we have the Ten of Swords clarifying the Six of Wands. 
And what I'm feeling with this, because this is your time, the in-between time, and you're embracing the in-between time and allowing folks to recognize you and praise you and award you, I feel like with this Ten of Swords, this is letting you know that you no longer have to shy away from the spotlight. You, you are humble. You are a humble person and it's okay to accept praise. It's okay to accept recognition. It's okay to um, accept the successes that you've had in your life, okay? What I'm feeling is it's time to no longer shy away from the spotlight and what you bring to the table for someone out there. It's like you're so humble, you almost don't believe in yourself, and yet you produce uh, results in every area of your life on a daily basis. But if I feel like someone's not believing in their ultimate gifts and talents, and it's time to let that go, those limiting beliefs go. That's what I'm feeling with this Ten of Swords. Let go of your limiting beliefs. And this time, this in-between time is to help you to be able to drop your limiting beliefs. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Cups. With the Nine of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Cups, what I'm feeling is you have been prosperous in your efforts, right? The fruits of your labor pay off. And that is why you are being recognized and being awarded and given such high praise and accolades with this Nine of Cups, clar uh, I'm sorry, Nine of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Cups because it's time for you to celebrate the fruits of your labor. It's time for you to allow the community to celebrate you. And then we have the devil clarifying Ten of Cups, right? So with the Ten of Cups, there is that emotional fulfillment. There is that joy and that happiness. And then the devil shows up because spirit wants you to, to be reminded with all that you are able to produce in your efforts on a daily basis. Stay grounded. Continue to stay humble. Do not let the accolades go to your head. They are beautiful to have and you deserve them. For someone out there, you deserve to be awarded. You, are, you deserve to be recognized. But stay humble. Stay humble is what I'm feeling with this devil card. Capricorn energy in your reading. Stay humble as your heart opens up and you let in the passion of what it is you do and the passion of who you are. Wild love surrounds you starting from the inside out. Someone needs to hear this, right? And then we have the Knight of Wands clarifying the Knight of Swords. And with this Knight of Wands, the adventure and determination that you have. Remember, I just feel like stay grounded. Stay grounded. I keep feeling that for someone just definitely need to know. You are all that and a bag of chips. Absolutely. But stay grounded. Don't let it go to your head. So the Knight of Wands is that adventure that you feel because of these accolades and awards that you are receiving, be mindful not to be aggressive or cocky in your, in your uh, behavior, right? And I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands is clarifying the King of Swords. So as you have the power and authority with this King of Swords, stay grounded. That is like the basis of this here. Stay grounded to coming into your fulfillment and your joy, your successes. Okay. Don't let it go to your head. Don't let it go to your head. No, no, no. <laughs> and then we have the nine of swords clarifying this page of swords. So that worry, that tension, that agitation that you were feeling, the page of swords is like, we bring you clarity. We bring you, um, 
we bring you a new perspective. You have been vigilant for so long and it feels like that vigilance can turn into paranoia and we don't want that for you. We want you to tap into your intuition. Your intuition guides you much better than any paranoia would. Someone out there needs to hear that. Okay, new perspectives on how things are flowing in your life for what has happened for you, right? That has caused you worry or restless nights with that nine of swords. And then we have the high priestess clarifying this five of pentacles. So for someone out there, again, your intuition is what guides you. Your intuition is what keeps you grounded, what keeps you humble, what keeps you out of a state of paranoia, worry, or grief, right? with this high priestess energy, okay? Trusting your intuition, tapping into the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind to help you understand what has happened for you and how you use that to your advantage. Yes. Using your intuition to your advantage. And then the ace of pentacles clarifies this magician. As you manifest and attract things into your life. There are new opportunities. There is new prosperity with this Ace of Pentacles. There's a new financial um, situation that is created for you when you start to attract and manifest with the magician and the Ace of Pentacles clarifying this magician. New opportunity for yourself. All right. I want to get an angel number for the collective before we close out this reading. It just stay humble. Take your time to rest. Let people give you praise and accolades because you deserve it. You've worked hard. Sit still for a while. There's nothing to do right now but to tap into your divine feminine and start to attract the desires of your heart more deeply. As you are grounded, as you are humble. Okay. 0303. Taking chances, success, knowledge, friendship. Then there's impatience and freedom and optimism. Don't have impatience. With this flamingo spirit, embracing the in-between, I feel like divine wants you to know, do not be impatient. Let the quiet time happen. Let the stillness happen. Someone out there needs to hear it. I'll read you what it has on the 0303 card. When chances present themselves, seize them and do something out of the ordinary. So the chance right now is to, the opportunity right now is to embrace the in-between. That is out of your ordinary to sit still. I feel like some of you don't sit still very well. That is out of your ordinary. Seize this moment to be still. Seize the moment to embrace the in-between, the quiet, the calm. Whether in your professional or personal life, you will find success by welcoming creative impulses and having faith in your own abilities. Trust in chance and take risk on opportunities that could change your life for the better. It seems risky for you to be doing nothing. I feel like for some of you out there, it's like go, go, go. And if you're not doing something, you're not achieving, you're, you're going nowhere. And that's not it. Trust in chance and take the risk on opportunities that could change your life for the better. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to get quiet because when you get quiet and you sit still... You can better readily tap into your high priestess energy, tap into your intuition, tap into your divine feminine, the divine feminine, the intuition, the magnetic attraction. So if you take the time, trust this calm state, trust it, and you will find that there are opportunities that will come towards you. The opportunities will come towards you with the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician that will change your life for the better. This is what Divine Spirit needs you to know. Beloved human, someone out there is in a period of calm and quiet and it's actually feeling really unfamiliar to you and you feel really 
edgy and antsy, but this is the time. This is the time to tap into your intuition and your feminine, divine feminine energy for opportunities that will come to you in the stillness, in the quiet place. You will get the downloads that you need to change your life for the better, to create opportunities for prosperity and financial gain, material wealth and abundance. When you take a chance to get still, get quiet, and listen for your intuition's instructions. All right, beloved humans, you were meant to see this. You are here to the end of the video. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you're receiving it, it's meant for you in that appointed moment. Right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I have coming out. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.